Hey everyone, this is Grandpa of Grandpa's Gaming Garage bringing you a how-to video on how to complete Untraceable a Warzone 2 DMZ Season 2 mission. If you like this video and it helps you out, I'd appreciate it. Give a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Turn your notifications on because Grandpa's Gaming Garage is doing all the DMZ missions. Untraceable is a Legion DMZ Season 2 mission. In it, you must take the weapon from the Shatik Cave's dead drop, use the weapon to kill the chemist in the same deployment, and return the weapon to the same dead drop in the same deployment. Before I get into the location of everything, I want to explain the two most important items you need besides the weapon. One is the gas mask. Two is radiation blocker. About 90% of the people who play DMZ have no idea that radiation blocker is a consumable item. When you consume radiation blocker, it prevents damage to your gas mask. Let me explain. Once you have your gas mask equipped, you're going to want to press click and consume the rad blocker. When you do that, you're going to get a timer in the bottom left hand corner where you can see it right now. It's 120 seconds. Each rad blocker provides full protection to your gas mask from the radiation for 120 seconds you get three rad blockers and you get five minutes in the radiation with the same gas mask it's a game changer for this mission and i think it's a must-have the dead drop you're looking for is in the shatik cave complex it's not inside it's right outside one of the major entrances you're not going to the shatik cave complex because the ai is extremely strong you want to approach this probably from the mountaintop and slide down the mountain just like you're seeing here once you get that sniper rifle get out of there if you want to take down the chemist you have to pick your points meaning you have to pick the territory that you're going to fight him in chemist spawns randomly around the map but he does definitely gravitate to some of the stronger locations on the map the u.s embassy the airport the hydroelectric there's a lot of places on this map that are just not friendly to be doing this quest because there might be a stronghold in it so pick your grounds you get to pick when you're going to fight and that's an advantage to you so be smart about it and pick a good location this right here is the best spawn location purely because it's very close to your dead drop point and the chemist is not around any strongholds and it's very open ground and a couple buildings nearby and you can handle them here be warned the sight on the scope for the sniper rifle that you're given is terrible it's an ir scope and it's very difficult to see detail in the smoke with the chemist once you have your gas mask your rad blockers and your sniper and your sniper scope you can head off to the chemist you want to get in there quickly you see the timer's ticking down so my gas mask is not taking any damage he is an easy enemy to take down two headshots and he's gonna drop you want to make sure you identify him quick and then take his head to helmet off once his helmet is off boom you can take him out and that's it all you have to do is return the sniper rifle back to your dead drop and you will have completed this mission if you like this video and it helped you out i appreciate it if you give a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe turn your notifications on because grandpa's gaming garage is doing all the dmz missions thanks for watching enjoy the game